Roadster is a challenge. It's a mainly an artificial intelligence and computer vision challenge. And what we would like to try to do is to really apply in real setting the segmentation, detection, and classification algorithms that are used in autonomous driving also for understanding the traffic condition in the Italian streets. The existing tools that we have for traffic predictions are mainly based on GPS, so on position information only. Uh, the point in which Roadster advances the state of the art with respect to those tools is that in addition to position information, it can give visual information and therefore you get the chance of extracting the kind of vehicles that you have, the road conditions, uh, the presence of anomalies, all those things are information that cannot be extracted from the GPS itself. So what we are currently doing now is on one side to develop uh, image segmentation algorithms. An image segmentation algorithm is an algorithm that basically predicts uh, where the objects are, where they are actually located inside of the images and what are the boundaries of each of the objects that uh, the, the camera records. So by that you get an idea of which kind of traffic you have on the street, uh, whether you have pedestrians, whether you have bicycles, uh, whether you have um, particular objects on the street, outliers, anomalies. And on the other side, there's a, let's say, a domain adaptation part, in the sense that uh, current state-of-the-art algorithms for segmentation uh, work quite poorly when you have poor lighting conditions, when you have poor weather conditions, and so on. So there needs to be a step in which we increase the robustness of those algorithms in those particular situations, which uh, nevertheless are quite common, and therefore they need to be uh, robust to those cases as well. This uh, is uh, uh, a technology that has been defined uh, to be user-centric, uh, but human-centric moreover, and uh, absolutely trustworthy. So a part of, uh, of the project is also devoted to understand how much this technology is completely compliant with the privacy issue. We don't want to recognize any people or any number plate, but only to do it more information that can be used for, for improve our life and our mobility and our transport that is a, a challenging part of our life. This project is not only for this specific uh, topic, uh, but would like to open uh, the idea that uh, the AI and computer vision technologies that uh, have been developed in the past and uh, are developing uh, at universities can be used uh, in uh, our companies, startup and big companies, to create, uh, to promote an ecosystem of data processing. And from the computer vision point of view is really very similar to, to process uh, data, uh, images uh, from uh, mobility, images from satellite, but also images from medical images support or health or, or uh, for industrial production. So computer vision is a very general technique, uh, general discipline more than technique, and uh, I believe that uh, the improvement of knowledge and these techniques uh, for young people, for researchers and for companies uh, it's an essential point uh, to, to maintain uh, our uh, uh, technology in the future, also for uh, the good industries that we have uh, in Emilia Romagna.